So my second lucid dream that I ever had was probably the most intense. The first one was very intense, I mean, just because I simply had never had one before. But the second one was even more intense because the trigger point was me realizing that my mother, who who's deceased, is deceased in the dream. And that's how I knew that it was a dream, because I knew she was no longer living, and how could I be sitting here talking to her? Well, it started out me with my dad and my mom. They've been separated my, about my whole life, you know. And um, I just sitting there talking to them. Everything's normal, and I'm kind of thinking in my head, you know, well, they're they're acting a little too close, you know, for normal everyday life, you know, because they they were friends, you know, even when they split up and stuff like that. But they were just acting a little differently, you know, because I was dreaming. So I'm thinking, you know, what's going on? I'm starting to ask myself and question, is this a dream? Well, then I come to the realization that my mother is standing in front of me. And, you know, she passed away about three years ago. And I realized, you know, wow. I said, Mom. I said, aren't you supposed to be dead? And I noticed myself, like, tearing up in the dream, and I felt, like, a single tear drop from my face. And, like, I felt it running down, running down, and she says, don't, don't cry, honey. And she lifts her hand up to my face and wipes the tear off. And, like, I mean, that whole time that she's, that she's reaching for me, I, I'm realizing right then, you know, this is a dream. I am dreaming right now. This is not actual reality. So as soon as that happened, she wipes a tear off my face. I don't know if they dis she disappeared or what had happened, but right away, like, I turn around and I just start taking off, okay, running and running, and I jump, and I jump up onto my roof, okay, and I run across my roof to the neighbors, jump over to the neighbor's rooftop, and I'm flying across, like, at, you know, not, I'm not flying like you normally would, you know, running and jumping over to the roof, you would land hard, you know, this was more like, like a walk across the air type thing, you know, but like, in a s slow motion feeling, but I could feel the pit of my stomach dropping out as I'm making the descent, not when I jump, but when I'm making the descent down towards the other roof. So I'm doing this, and I'm jumping from rooftop to rooftop, and you can imagine, I mean, you know, 10 foot, 20 foot gaps in between these roofs, you know, just like unhuman like jumps that I'm making, you know, of course I'm floating sort of in between. So this is like such an amazing feeling because you can't do this, you know, as a human in our bodies, you know, only in our mind, you know, in our dreams. And to be dreaming and realizing that you're dreaming and controlling it, it's not just a dream anymore. It's more like a piece of reality, even though it's not and you're sleeping. You're actually experiencing this. It's not something that you wake up and you go, oh, I remember that. You know, I remember that dream from last night. No, your thought process continues from the time that you're realizing that you're dreaming all the way until you wake up. It's one continuous thought process. So it's like when you wake up, it's like you're waking up, but you're not trying to remember what just happened because you do remember what just happened. You just experienced it. You know, you knew about it. You knew that it, that it, it was not real and that you were dreaming. So it makes it that much more real, if you know what I mean. Now, if you've had a lucid dream before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, I would definitely encourage you to try a trigger point, you know, jumping, like I do, what you do is like jump up straight up in the air and if you come down nice and soft or kind of float up higher than you normally would, you'll realize right then, I'm dreaming. This is not real. But you have to believe that your body's going to do this. Like for instance, I would, I would stand here, this is like my reality check for the day. I'd stand here like this and I'd jump up. In my mind now, I'm thinking when I jump, I'm going to float up very high and I'm going to come down nice and soft. You have to believe this in your mind or else the trigger point's not going to work when you get into your lucid dream. Jump up just like this. Believe it now. Now I realize right now that this is reality and that I'm not dreaming. 
But if I were in a dream and I did float up, you would get that feeling, that instant adrenaline rush, knowing that this is not real. These things that I'm touching right here are not real. Myself, this body that I'm touching right now is not even here. It's all in my mind. You know, that's a crazy, that's a crazy thought to try to fathom, you know when you're sitting there dreaming and that's why I say it's such an adrenaline rush it's like as if you were almost scared stiff that expression that's kinda how it makes you feel for an instant and now when I lucid dream I tend to go up to very high places and jump off just because I love the feeling of falling and I simply know that I'm not gonna die just because nothing that I'm actually doing is real it's all in my mind and they say when you hit the bottom in your dream that you die. No, you don't. I've smacked the bottom of the ground, not felt any pain, almost right through the ground. Uh, you know, like I dug a hole, almost like a cartoon. You know, like you see the old Bugs Bunny cartoons and, you know, he, uh, Elmer Fudd falls off the cliff, you know, fucking crashes into the ground all the way through it, climbs back out. That's kind of what it was like. You know, it was pretty crazy. And you almost feel like a, like a superhero, you know? I mean, not in the sense that you're saving people, but in the sense that you can do things that are unhuman. And it's, it's pretty amazing to do things that are unhuman, realizing that you're doing them at that moment, not looking back and reflecting on it like, oh, I did this crazy stuff in my dream, and I remember it the next day. No, you're actually controlling it. You're, you're in control of what's happening. For the most part, you can almost change scenery in an instant just by turning around and imagining, you know? I haven't tried looking at something and making it change, which is another thing that I want to try to do in a lucid dream. And in, in other words, make this ladder and these boards right here change shape, just totally change shape. But if I turn my head and imagine them and turn back, it seems to happen. But I want to see it actually change shape. You know, that would be pretty cool. So, if anybody has any dream journals about lucid dreams that they want to submit, just uh, submit it to the email address. It's uh, recluseofbabylonia at hotmail.com. And uh, we'll check it out, post it on our website here. Thanks a lot.